How much money would it take for you to move the kick exclusively? I can't tell you the number because then they would come in under that number. There's a whole feeling out period that you have to do. They, they have to, first they have to come to me with a number. I'm never going to say this is my number. That's bad negotiating. It's like when we were talking with the movers, they said, were you happy with your experience? I said, no. Here's an invoice for the $20,000 worth of damage you did. They said, oh, no, we're so sorry. We'll do anything to make it right. Here's uh, $225. I said, uh, we don't consider that a fair offer. If you're not going to give us a fair offer, stop wasting our time. They replied, what would you consider to be a fair offer? I said, at a minimum, you have to replace the door that you damaged, and you have to pay for... Uh, the handyman to fix the holes in the wall and you have to pay for 4% of a complete hardwood replacement Which is you did damage to roughly 4% of the floor. So I said Approximately two thousand dollars would be what we would consider a fair offer. They said unfortunately our maximum offer is 1750 we've submitted a revised uh, Compensation for you of four hundred and seventy five dollars. I said if your company isn't going to take us seriously stop wasting our time they replied, please let us know what we could do to make you happy with your experience. I replied, lose this email address. We're gonna, I, I think I also said it's worth more than $475 for us to leave our honest experience with your company on every review site. And then, I, I don't expect to get a fair amount of compensation, but it, I expect to maybe cost them some business by leaving a one-star review on Google reviews that says this company is a fraud. That's, that's it. They decided it, it wasn't worth paying us a, a fair amount for the damage that they did. So as a result, no, don't review bomb them. This is against the terms of service, okay? I had to tell Kate, she was like, you know, we, we could get like lots of people to leave them negative reviews. I was like, you're gonna get your Google account banned just from one bad move. Just, just leave them a one-star review that's honest People will compare movers and then they'll be like, um, whoa, should we do this mover? I mean, like they have a one star that says they broke half the stuff in our house and then basically told us to F off in every email. Also, the only thing, it, it sucks for the movers. I've already digested the emotion from the move kind of sucking and it being entirely their fault. But it's stuck in my wife's craw. And the problems move downstream in the world. If you make a single person angry and they're normal, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll get over it eventually. But if you make a married person's spouse angry, now you got two people that are angry at you and you got to come with a little bit better customer service, okay? If you make the matriarch of a huge family angry, now you got 17 people who are coming at you wondering how you're gonna make this right. So you, I'm just saying this is the way that, the, that problems flow in society, okay? If you're a landscaper, you get hired by a 71 year old lady and then you take a dump on her lawn, guess what? All of a sudden you got 11 people knocking at your door. And they're all played by Tyler Perry. So fucking true. <laughs> it's Tyler Perry playing seven people and then just like one actress who you vaguely recognize from something in the 90s. You're like, holy shit. Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry, and Nev Campbell. Eugene Levy? Eugene Levy, what are you doing here in Medea's Witness Protection? Sell the magpie, please. You're triggering me. Hey, you're triggering me, brother, because the magpie is what we use to level up our bison. So... Honestly, maybe stick to something you know.